Hey, Jonesy here. Just Jonesy, no one else. Just Jonesy because uh, Skype uh, and Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and OBS and all that stuff running at the same time. Not the best idea I've ever had. So just just Jonesy. Uh, the game appears to have just crashed. Yep, there we go. Back in. All right. Design some pizza. Uh, let's go full vegan pizza. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Let's go. Done. Time to deliver pizza. Oh, shift just bro. Oh. No. Gosh dang it. Sticky keys prompt just showed up. That was that's a great way to ruin a game. Whoever designed that needs to go to hell. Oh wow, it's still doing it too. Oh wait, I can't even, the thing is, the, the game centers my mouse on the screen, so I can't even exit out fast enough. One, two, three, isn't it? One, two, three, isn't it? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Oh. Once you get the, the rhythm of it, I feel like this is... Pretty manageable. What? One, two, one. Does he get, he pauses when you throw pizza at him. Of course I hit the, the freaking gap in between. Um, let's get him up into the top and then I'll throw some pizzas at the kids. Ah, oh, suck it, Shadow, the Hedgehog. Screw off. What? Did you see that? His top hat ate the pizza. How is that fair? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get wrecked. You seeing this? Oh, I think this is intentional. Yay, I, I've won. I've won the game. I've won. I, I am the winner. I alone am true king. So. up hey begin tape leaving dead space three two one the purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli if you are playing this tape Tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Hmm. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I've already marked everything, yes. <laughs> Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Come on. Twitch. Twitch. You got this. Document results. Eh. 
I didn't see none. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Yeah. Hi. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. I You've like saved money your whole life. Great. Don't now like it's his, time to put like all your eggs sense. into one basket and take a this huge gamble on your future. Creepy. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in I some I trust places. that face. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. I could That's right. That. Restaurant ownership and management. Complete something right almost there. anyone can do with a limited degree of success. We need the poos uh, sure, much more it's responsible a lot of money to invest, here. but everyone's well, doing it. And that means it's not safe always. and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive you everything to college, you need least. to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment. Can I skip this? Absolutely. Buy items, you say? Use blueprint to place items? Well, my god! This game has some features! Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Let's see how much Great. cold hard that cash you have enough. left over. Now let's get started. Let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Yeah. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse yeah. the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, yeah, 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 yeah. click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try a and do some mode. shopping. I like a blueprint of my old that has sounds really great. Catalog. Catalog, catalog, catalog. Wait, nope. I was in the catalog. I'm trying to stay in blueprint mode. I've I've seen this I've heard this this song before. Oh. Damn. Buzz rating 25. That's not. Safety straps. Clean and polish. Add coin slot. I'm gonna add a coin slot. Because I know I'm going to run out of money on the first day. But. This will also make money now. Revenue one. See that? Have a popping good time with Fizz Time Soda. Fizz Time Incorporated offering to you. Pay you for advertising at your establishment? Absolutely. Absolutely, I will do that. Not only does that give me money to handle lawsuits, but also avoid them in the first place. That is glorious. Next. I need to pick up the pace. If I can your do restaurant this game is now officially open. Much also, faster. That than doesn't mean your job works. is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. Fun. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash. So don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to Glorious upgrade clowns. any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. 
Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. I see. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply Is that what log the sponsor off when you've does? completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Because that was totally not acceptable. Want to scan faster, please? I bonk his nose? Not those noses. I'm the, oh, it's still go, it keeps going even when I'm doing other things. No. No it does not actually. Why is it always scanning? Hmm. Oh, so does... So hang on. So motion scanning will run constantly is what I'm getting out of this. Is that correct? But there is no motion. I have nothing to worry about. Where them flyers at? Absolutely nothing to worry about. Under any circumstance. Peace. Ring a ding ding ding, uh, ring a ding ding, or uh, ring a ding ding. Just me and my vents, all day, every day, print menus. Ra da 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 da. Who put this room up here? What the hell am I doing? Do 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 do. I'll tell you what I'm not doing with my life. I'm not sleeping that much. No, I'm really not. This game will not affect that, mind you. It is a conscious decision to not sleep, ever. Alright? Maintenance. Here we go. Unclogged toilets. Replaced bulbs. Take woman out to dinner two to three times a month. Good, good maintenance procedure. High maintenance. Well, not high maintenance, just normal maintenance. Buy flowers once in a while, you know? 
once in a while, don't deliver flowers. And don't, like, just leave them on the table. That's stupid. Get a small, handheld bouquet. Hand the flowers to the woman. That's, that's what you gotta do. Jones advice. Jones vice. That could be a new segment. Huh? Is it flashy because I like to bop side to side, or is it flashy because of some other reason? I see zero cause for alarm on the screen. So for a single night, I could buy equipment and that'll, that'll solve a lot of my problems, is that correct? But I have done more than one task at the same time. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Was now let's ever just risk focus there? on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. My Make ultimate it through test. Saturday, and you will have proven yourself ultimate as test the successful of entrepreneur and that we all know you can be. I know I can do this. Ta ta ta. Ta 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 ta. Come on. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. Congratulations! And salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Yay. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death. Yay. Should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. Yay. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you mm -hmm. must complete the maintenance checklist. Yay. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. Indeed. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Mm -hmm. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. Yeah. We are unsure of its origins. We are unsure. It is unsure. your job to complete the maintenance Floral. checklist before claiming it as Who else is in on this? Or if you choose to, this conspiracy goes straight to the, to the top. Alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Go back into the alley. Proceed with salvage. Salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Oh, salvage. The Remember, shot. use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and yeah. decrease its value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Definitely move. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Zero way. I don't understand. So 
why wouldn't the paper go down? Bucket Bob? Mr. Can Do? Number one crate. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's get this show moving. Got marked down. Item condition good. Oh, I love that. Can we get any more markdowns? Can't even afford that. Let's do this. Sponsorship offer. Give me. I know not what I do. Play test. Let's do it. Where them ghosts at? Do do do. Sure as heck ain't trapped in bed. Oh, there's a magnet. I'm gonna need the magnet, aren't I? That is awful. Time extended, you say? Aren't I going to die soon? Pretty sure I am absolutely boned. Hug the walls and I can grab more points. But it's a dead end. No matter which way I run. Magnet ran out. That was much less horrifying than I thought it would be. I could do better. Yeah, and it gives me 10 play tokens. So I have to. I have to do better. So, I... First thing I need to do is I need to run and find that lightning bolt. I feel like that is the key to success. Magnet was cool, but that, that right there is what I need. Time extensions. Maybe the magnet was just the better one. Ah. This isn't even worth it. Time to go. Let's do this. I'll manage.
I absolutely need to check if equipment. Nope. Can't afford equipment. What was. Okay, that was that. Good. It's way over there. They're persistent? Doesn't that mean I've wrecked myself? Thing is, there's no timer, right? So I could literally do this forever. Problem is, I don't know what's going to be involved with the, uh, with when something does eventually happen. No movement. I feel like I might be safe here, bud. I could be real safe here, bud. But you see, how, how do I prevent that? Hmm. So, you know, I think, I, th I think, here's, here's my takeaway from this. The difficulty of this game comes from the lack thereof instruction on doing simple things like putting the piece of paper down or not being attacked by an animatronic from the vent. Because I feel like I did everything I possibly could have. Um, maybe I could have... No. No, because nothing showed up on the motion detector. And I played some sounds, so it shouldn't have been that close. Lots of fun, 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 fun. Okay, that's enough of that, buds. Let's uh end it here. Thank you and good night. Do not subscribe. Send me death threats.